my channel. So today's video is going to be, as you can see by the title, my April favorite. So like I mentioned in last month's favorite video, I really haven't been able to try a whole lot of new things, mainly because I am trying to save money. Also, when I go into a drugstore anywhere here or a beauty store, everything is in either Japanese, Korean, or Chinese. So I can't read anything that is on these labels. I can kind of get an idea that it's, okay, it's a mascara, it's an eyeliner, it's a lipstick, but it's just so overwhelming that I really haven't bothered, to be totally honest. So a lot of these things I've had in my collection for a while, but then I've kind of resurfaced in my eyes a little bit. And one of them I had my mom send to me because she's still wonderful and lovely and great. So I'm actually going to start with that one. The first thing is from John Frieda. I love using his lightning spray. It's a spray that you can put into the roots around your crown and your part or basically all over your head if you really want to. It works mainly in the roots and over time it will start to lighten up the color of your hair. So for me, my my roots are not that dark, but against my blonde hair, they show a lot more. So the lightning spray really saves me from having to go to the hair salon a lot and also saves me money because normally I go every four to six weeks when I'm at home versus when I'm not at home. It is so expensive to get blonde hair treatment done. So I really rely on the lightning spray. But recently, John Frieda has just come out with an in-shower shampoo treatment, which is amazing. Um, this is the second bottle that I have because it goes in one use. It's only good for one use, but this is the second bottle that I have. I love it you guys so much. When I first used it, I could smell the coloring chemical that you use when you do get your hair colored. So I was like, oh, this is like legit. This has coloring component ingredients in this product. But I wasn't scared to use it because I know it didn't have any bleach and you knew it was safe for everybody and anybody to use it. I wanted to be really tedious about it. So I wanted to be very, very thorough. And I could tell a difference right away. Like it is instant results after you've dried your hair. It was so awesome. It was so, so great. And I really, really loved it. Jumping all over the place. I'm gonna quickly go to one of my Murad Love this is the Perfecting Night Cream. The reason why I wanted to talk about this was because I don't think I've actually specifically talked about this. You guys have probably heard me talk about Murad over and over and over again because I swear by it and I love it so much. This is something that I picked up more recent than my other Murad products because I'm 27 years old, I'm not getting any younger, and they always say with anti-aging products or to get on top of your aging skin is to start sooner and younger rather than later and older. So I wanted to incorporate a night cream as well as an anti-aging product and this was the perfect blend of the two of those things. The great thing about this and the main point I have is that it's not heavy. It just has a really pleasant smell to it. So when I'm getting ready for bed, it's almost like this smell has triggered my sleep mode. So it helps me sleep better, if that makes sense. I'm not gonna say that it was intended for that, but I'm not against it either. Obviously, I can't tell if it's making me look younger. However, at least I know that I'm taking preventative action so that my skin will stay young and supple, tight and gorgeous for hopefully as long as possible. And it also helps me sleep better. So yay for the Murad Night Cream. I know that I've talked about this next product in my more recent videos, but I just had to talk about it again because it's still going strong. Um, this is the Maybelline Master Contour Contouring Kit. And this hit the market, I wanna say December of 2015. So not too long ago. Gosh dang it, I love this thing. This is the perfect bronze color for me. This is the perfect blush. And this is a perfect highlighter. This highlighter is like super pigmented and just gives a really great glow. I love this trio. Um, It looks like I haven't used it, but I really have. I think because these colors are so pigmented, I really haven't had to use a whole lot of product with each use, which is really nice. So it, the longevity of it is worth the money. Um, But when I saw this, I was like, oh. Yes, Maybelline, give me a contour kit. To be honest, I have no idea if they've come out with more colors. I'm gonna assume that they have because the drugstore is taking over. I've said that for a while and I totally stand by it. So if they have, <laughs> sorry I'm behind the times, I'm in Asia. You know, what can you do? This is my number one. I don't know if this has a color. What color are you? I don't know if this really has a color. Oh, this is light to medium, number 10. I think the great thing about this too is it's three in one. So for traveling, all you need is this little guy. If you're going away for a weekend or if you just wanna pack light, this is such a great option. It just has everything you need right here. and. This blush, I feel, is so versatile that it really could complement any look that you're trying to achieve. Next up, I'm sure I've talked about this too. I'm gonna talk about it again because I feel like it is the best foundation for me while in Asia. It's not humid yet here. It's still pretty chilly, but my skin isn't dry, but I'm super afraid to use my mattifying foundations that I do have. I don't wanna dry out my skin and I'm a little afraid, but also I'm getting a little bit of that cystic acne that I was getting in October of last year and it's kind of freaking me out. I don't really know why it's happening. I don't think I'm stressed, but like who really knows? The foundation I'm talking about is the Alme Clear Complexion 4-in-1 Blemish Eraser, and this is in the shade 300 Naked. So even though I'm really not battling a 
whole lot with acne in general, just like the occasional spots and obviously these two monsters that are on my jaw that you can't see, thank God. I still wanted to make sure that I was doing everything I could, but that could still withstand the weather that I'm in. And this has done beautifully. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out. Hopefully I'll be done with this contract by the time that happens. I do have a couple backup. This has been a really great foundation. It's great coverage. It feels wonderful on my skin. And I just really enjoyed it because I feel like I'm doing more than just covering the blemishes. I'm also fighting them at the same time. I definitely give this an A plus and recommend this to anybody that's fighting acne and that wants to be proactive, but still wear makeup and cover up those blemishes. This is a fantastic foundation. Some cream gel liners that have been in my collection but have recently popped up into more makeup looks. One of them I'm actually wearing right now on my lower lash line waterline and that is in the color Best O. It's a maroon type color. These are all from ColourPop. I grabbed a whole bunch of these a while ago when they first came out and I feel like they came out in November. I really loved them when I got them. I guess I just kind of forgot about them to be totally honest. I feel like I have my ride or die gel liners that I love to use and I forgot about them. Poor things. They're actually really, really great and they're even better than some of the other gel liners that I've been obsessed with and they stay on my waterline without gathering. I feel like that tends to happen on the waterline, especially if you don't let either the top or the bottom if you do two different colors because I like to do black on the top to really make those lashes look full and most of the time white on the bottom to make my eyes look bigger. They tend to bleed together and these don't do that when you let them dry of course but these don't do that even if you do forget. I'll go back and be like oh crap I didn't let my waterline dry and they'll still be fairly okay with a touch up here or there but the longevity of these are so much better than my Too Faced gel liner that I love. That was my first one I'm pretty sure but I've loved it forever and they come in such an array of different colors that your possibilities are endless. Another eyeliner, this is a liquid eyeliner though, this is from Kat Von D and this is in the shade Neruda, Neruda? I don't know what that is, but it's white. It is a white one and I was a little skeptical about this because I'm actually skeptical of any white eyeliners because how is it supposed to show up? Should have never doubted you. I'm so sorry. This is such a beautiful, beautiful eyeliner. It has the felt tip like the original Kat Von D Trooper one, but the line is so precise and the pigmentation is like, whoa, okay, you're not joking whatsoever. I know that these come in a whole bunch of different colors and I'm pretty sure I have a couple of them. I think they're in the brush tip applicator though. I love Kat Von D. I love most, if not all of her products. I think she puts out such great quality products. I'm a big fan of her. So I've been really loving this, especially when I have a black winged liner. I like to go like underneath. I also saw a makeup tutorial and I can't remember who did it, but she did a black wing and then the white was on the outside of the wing. Oh, been totally loving this guy just for that extra, you know, unique twist on a makeup look. Another Kat Von D product, which I totally didn't plan, but this is the lipstick I'm wearing right now. This is a perfect pinky nude neutrally shade and I love wearing this with so many different looks. Either it's a dark look or a winged eyeliner, which is lashes in this color. Oh, I love this so, so much. This is in the shade Love Sick and it's one of her everlasting liquid lipsticks. I don't know what else to say other than I love the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks because they're so amazing. And now that I have really mastered the art of priming my lips before putting this on to maximize the longevity of these, I can't stop, won't stop. And I don't plan to. They're just such great colors and quality and ugh, I love them so much. I don't even know how to put on regular lipstick anymore because all I use are the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks. Next up, and I've only been able to find these here, however, I'm pretty sure you can find them in the US. I just don't know where. I saw them on Instagram once and I was like, oh, those are so cool. However, I didn't seem to find them in Claire's or a, what is that store called? Forever 21, but they are these clips. But they are hair clips with the ability to kind of hide themselves a little bit so that it just looks like you have this cute little detail in your hair. What's super cute about these is they're just kind of incognito. It's adding that little detail without the tackiness of the bobby pins or the clip. So I have a whole bunch of these that I've just found everywhere. I love them so much, especially just adding that fun little detail with a half up look or with my hair up in a bun and I put it like under underneath the bun or on the side of it. It's just a fun little extra something and I've really, really, really love these. So I'm kind of starting to hoard and gather a lot of them. Last but not least has been my godsend. I normally don't get sick all that often on ships the risk is much higher because you are dealing with more traffic as far as people and everybody's touching the same things and not everybody is washing their hands. Um, so I've gotten colds every now and then and I have been having really bad allergies out here during the cherry blossom season in Japan. So I've needed meds, I've needed medication. However, I'm not a big pharmaceutical medication person. Whatever I can do that is homeopathic or organic or anything that I can do to avoid having to take medication of 
the over-the-counter kind. I prefer that more than anything. And this is the Umka Cold Care. These are chewable tablets. I know that it comes in syrup as well. This is something that I have a really hard time finding if I'm not in New Mexico, but I know that it is found everywhere. But the biggest place that I find it is in the organic section of the grocery store or at a Trader Joe's or in the vitamin section. This is not something that you find in the cold, flu, allergy care section in the medication aisle. This is something that is more along the lines of, this is something that's more along the lines of vitamins and homeopathic organic supplements, but they taste amazing. I don't know how they did that, but they taste amazing. What's so great about this is this will cut your sickness time in half. So what could have lasted two weeks will last a week. What would have lasted a week will last maybe a couple days. Um, if not just shortened a little bit by a couple. What makes this unique is I'm gonna read from the side so you guys know exactly what is in this. Is made from a root that I can't pronounce. It is a root that originates from traditional South African medicine. This does more than just relieve common cold symptoms. It actually speeds up your recovery time. So like I said before, it almost cuts your time in half basically. It also says Umka is proven effective in clinical studies for alleviating common cold plus nasal throat and bronchial irritation. So even though this isn't targeted at allergies, I feel with the congestion that I get especially in my sinuses right here this helps a lot it just feels like I'm taking a vitamin and it allows my immune system to strengthen up and use what it has to get rid of this cold but if I feel like I can battle this with umka or a vitamin of some sort I'm going to do that but if I feel that I need over-the-counter obviously I will not make myself suffer but this is a godsend and I love this so much that's it those are all of my favorites I know some of them are repeats and some of them are new I hope you guys enjoyed these favorites as much as I did sharing them with you guys if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel go ahead and click this button right here so you don't miss out on any of the fun videos I have coming on my channel very soon. You can also find me on all of my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and my website that's all linked down below for you guys to check out and connect with me as always. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I can't believe April is already gone. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.